In this module, we will cover what is information security awareness. Now, information security awareness has three basic objectives. To ensure that the employees are aware of the importance of protecting sensitive information, that employees should uh, be aware of what they should do to handle information securely, and the employees should be aware of the risks of mishandling information. So the Information Security Awareness Program is basically there to highlight and to make aware the employees of these three aspects. Now, in this slide, we see uh, a diagram from NIST, which I'll describe ahead, which has a description of awareness, training, and education, and a slight explanation of what all of these mean. So awareness is for the entire organization, for all users, and it's security awareness. And above that, we move towards training. And um, that would cover all users involved with IT systems, and it covers the security basics and common literacy. As we move further up in, in complexity and expertise, we start delivering training to functional roles and responsibilities within IT. And that's for the entire life cycle. And then we move higher to more specific education, which is delivered to IT security specialists and professionals. Now, this entire detail is provided in an exceptional document, which is available within the NIST Special Publication 8050. And the title of this document is Building an IT Security Awareness and Training Program, which highlights awareness, training, education, and the complete life cycle and the details of how to run this entire awareness program throughout an organization. I encourage all the students to have a, a close look and to read this entire document. So what is awareness? Awareness is not training. The purpose of awareness is simply to focus attention on security, to make people aware, to bring it in their awareness, bring it to their knowledge, and to change behavior or to reinforce good security practices. And it's not training, it's awareness. Training is different from awareness, and it strives to produce relevant and needed security skills and competencies. It seeks to teach these skills. And, for example, an IT security course for system admin administrators would be covering all the security aspects. And if, for example, a system administrator who would take a course on security would be, would be trained on what security is, how to plan for it, what security controls are, what the relevant controls are, and how to apply them, how to test and validate them, accredit, and then move on onto operations and to help in maintaining those controls and then to conduct the controls. So the entire life cycle would be something that would be provided in training to a system security specialist. And then we move on to the highest level, which is education, which integrates all the skills and competencies into a common body of knowledge, and that would be a degree program, a specialist degree program, and, um, for example, a master's degree in information security or cybersecurity. Now, this is, these are the implementation steps which the NIST document has covered in detail, and let's just go through each of the four steps. The first step in launching and conducting an information security awareness program is to design the awareness and training program. And for that, we need to conduct a need assessment, which is called a training need assessment or a TNA. And then you develop the strategy after the need assessment, and after that, you develop awareness and training uh, plan, the entire plan. And I would like to mention here that the training need assessment or TNA is very important because you go out to all the stakeholders and find out their requirements. The next step or step number two is to develop the awareness and training material as per the planning that we've done in the first step. The third step is to implement the program. And finally, when you conduct the awareness program and the, and the training, then we do the post-implementation evaluations and we try to find out how effective we have been. Now, this is an example on this slide that you, that you can see. Some don'ts and do's 
which are a very important part of the information security awareness program. And I've just shown you three don'ts and two do's, but normally the awareness program has a long list of don'ts and do's. For example, don't share your password. Uh, don't click on suspicious email links. Do not, un uh, do not install unlicensed software on your PC, but do log out when getting up from your system and do report security incidents. These don'ts and do's are a very important part of the security awareness program. Thank you.